guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Brianna and today I am back with another body shop review video and this time around I have the British Rose body lotion to milk now this is a brand new product that they've just brought out um, very recently at the body shop it was sort of around the time that they were dropping the Christmas stuff and yeah I kind of overlooked this around the Christmas time when I was sort of well the pre-Christmas period when I was buying the Christmas range and yeah it just popped up on their website a couple of weeks ago and I thought I would try it out and give it a go for you so let's get into it so I'm just going to name a couple of the key ingredients here um, and we can go from there so as with most lotions it does have water in there it has glycerine it has sunflower seed oil it has shea butter it has some fragrance in there. Obviously, it's a fragranced product. Um, and yeah, some other little bits and pieces. So yeah, pretty standard sort of um, ingredients and things like that that you normally get in a body lotion. Most lotions are an oil and water mix together. Um, obviously, with the exception of gel moisturizers and things like that, they're obviously more of a water base. But yeah, pretty standard ingredients, nothing overly special here or nothing overly exciting. You know, from the ingredients, you can sort of tell that it is a lotion and it's going to moisturize you. So that's all you can really expect from a product like this. Okay, so let's get into the actual product itself. So the description is body lotion to milk. Now, what that really means is, you know, obviously it's a body lotion, number one. It's, you know, it's not thick like a body cream. It, it obviously has a lotion-y feel to it, very similar to other drugstore um, lotions or even high-end lotions um, that you would buy at, you know, a department store or something like that. You know, has the typical lotion consistency, not overly thick, not really super thin either, just in that middle ground where it's easy to squirt it out and spread it on your body. Um, Another thing to note is the lotion to milk thing. If you're not familiar with body milks, basically body milks are an even, even thinner version of a body lotion. It's more of a milky consistency. That's sort of where it gets the milk name from. Um, so yeah, I personally am not a huge fan of body milks in general. I do like the lush ones that have been brought out from time to time because of the scent. The scents have been amazing. But usually body milks are a really lightweight version of a moisturizer. They're not going to be suitable for everybody. And they are, they can be quite messy to apply to the body um, because they are such a runny style of lotion. So there is that to keep in mind. But because this is a lotion to oil, um, lotion to milk, not lotion to oil, lotion to milk product, it does come out like a lotion, but when you rub it in, it does feel sort of light like a body milk would normally. It's got a very nice light feeling to it, which is a great thing, especially if you're really busy in the mornings or you just need something really quick to put on your body and then you can quickly get dressed afterwards. I think that that's a great option as well. Okay, so let's get on to the actual scent. So this is obviously scented in the British Rose scent at the body shop, which is quite a large scent family at the body shop, and it's been around for quite a while. Now, the British Rose scent family, the easiest way to describe it is it does smell like fresh roses, basically. It smells like an English garden. Um, it's very intense on the rose scent. It doesn't smell like old ladies. It's not like a dried rose scent or a powdery rose it's pretty much just a fresh rose kind of scent, at least in my experience. Um, so obviously, if you don't like rose scents, you won't like this. If you don't like floral scents, you won't like this. Um, you know, common sense, you know. So, yeah, you do sort of have to like those things to enjoy this. Um, some people do find it's a little bit too rosy. I mean, for me personally, I can't get enough of rose. It's one of my top three favorite um floral scent notes rose just it brings me back to childhood and smelling my nan's rose garden who bless her heart she did pass away quite a while ago now but um yeah it just brings back beautiful memories for me and roses are just such a beautiful scent for me personally and something that I really enjoy so yeah it's always nice to smell like roses in my opinion so another thing to note is the longevity of the 
scent on the skin. This is something you guys have requested and I'm definitely including this in pretty much all my lotion um, and cream reviews when it comes to body lotions and stuff like that. And look, this did not last all day on the skin. It did last quite a few hours, but you know, it, it, I wouldn't use this as a lotion to scent my body for an entire day. I would complement this with the British Rose perfume or body spray. Um, or you could always complement it with a rose um, fragrance that you own. Or you could complement it with another floral fragrance that you own as well. I think all of those would go absolutely beautiful. You could always have a very sweet scent on. You know, it's whatever. You could do whatever you really wanted to with this one. Um, so yeah look you know for me personally i don't use lotions and things as my primary source of scent um i don't normally do that i do have obviously scented body lotions from a variety of different brands um, but that's more just for general enjoyment of applying lotion i don't really buy them specifically so that they smell like that for a whole day if you get what i mean but if that's something that you're into I probably wouldn't recommend this purely for that purpose. So there you go. Okay, so overall my thoughts on the body lotion and milk from the body shop in the British Rose scent. I think there's absolutely nothing wrong with this product. I really enjoyed it. Um, as I said, it is quite a lightweight lotion. I thought it was still enough for my skin. I have fairly normal skin. If you have a drier skin type, mm, you know, it, it's debatable whether it's going to be completely worth it for you. That's something that you're going to have to investigate and try out for yourself. Um, I'm not the authority on dry skin. I've had a lot of people say to me, oh, you know, I use this. It's fine for dry skin. You know, I I'm very glad. It's just I don't want to say something that isn't true on this channel um, and something that isn't my experience, if that makes sense. So for me, with my normal skin, this is great. I do think it would be a little bit too light for a lot of people with dry skin, but like I said, you can definitely try this out for yourself. Um, you know, try and get a sample if you can of some description before you commit to the full buy, if you're interested in it, and just see how you go with it. Um, that would be my recommendation. Uh, so yeah, I definitely think it's a five out of five product. I really enjoyed it. You know, it did the job. So there you go. Thank you so, so much for watching this review. I hope it was helpful for you, or at the very least, entertaining. Please stay tuned for more Body Shop reviews soon. I might not have some for a while. It just depends when they drop out, um, new products for me to try. We'll see how we go. But until next time, take care, and I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.